Jesus, make whole. Amen. My name is Charles McHenry, and I'm from the Muskogee Reservation in Oklahoma. And that song says, Jesus is King. Jesus is in heaven. Amen. If you thought and told me 12 years ago that I'd be standing before you talking about Jesus, I'd tell you, you'd lost your mind. Amen. But God's ways are higher than our ways and i just love to thank my creator my heavenly father and my lord and savior jesus christ for the time and opportunity that i have to stand before you to witness you tonight that they say that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and their testimony and then i believe that tonight that that what god has uh, uh, upon my heart that i share with you is going to be uplifting I believe that that several years ago, at the time uh, I was 18 years old, I went out into this world. And you know, as a young man, you go out into this world and you want to try things upon your own self. You want to do things your own way. We're all a little bit hard-headed, some hard-headed than others. But I went out into this world and I tried to do it my own way. But I fell into darkness. I fell into a, a, a trap that the devil has set for me. And through those years, at the time I was 19, I became addicted to drugs. I became addicted to methamphetamines. And by the time I was 19, I was a daily user. I was an active user. By the time I was 20, I was a a manufacturer of methamphetamines. Sold it, did everything underneath the sun to do with it. And for the next 20 years, lived a life of chaos, walked in darkness, uh, did all the wicked things underneath the sun. I thought the devil had him right had me right where he wanted me. He had kicked me, beaten me. Uh, I just thought there was no use in trying to live anymore. I just thought there was no use in even trying uh, uh, to get better. And people had given up on me. I had given up on myself. I was in and out of jail through those 20 years. And the last time that I was locked up in jail, I was there and I thought, well, this is it. This is all there is for me. This is all that I have left. And I was so selfish and so ate up that, that I just thought that somebody should come and get me out. Somebody should come and help me. But God had bigger plans for me. God had me right where he wanted me. And I stop and I think about this. And I think about that, being in jail so mad, so angry, feeling that, that I couldn't even love myself. Didn't even know how to love myself. And I was there, and I went to a prayer service one day after being there for about a month or two to get out of my cell, because being in jail, you're always just in your cell. You're just locked up. You're just there. So I thought, well, what the heck? I'm going to get out of my cell and go to this prayer meeting, whatever it may be. There was a man there talking to us and speaking to us. And this man on that day, he says, I love you. I love you. And he looked at me and he goes, I love you. And I'm like, ain't nobody love me. And he goes, but Jesus loves you more. So I said, Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I've done burned so many bridges, did lied, cheated, stole, did everything wrong that no one loved me. No one, I couldn't even love myself. So how could this Jesus love this drug addict? So I go back to my cell and I say, Jesus, if you're real, and show me that you're real. 
I said, Jesus, if you're real, then come into my life. Jesus, if you're real, here I am. And I picked up this book right here. Y'all might not recognize this one. But I used to put it under the back of my head. Used to tear pages out of it, roll up cigarettes in it. But that day I opened it up. And it says, he who finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Amen. I said, aye, 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 aye. That ain't right. It says the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. <clears throat> that day, in pod J16, <clears throat> in Cell Inn, in downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma, in the county jail, my God, your God, a loving God, a merciful God, came down and touched me, came down and healed me, came down, redeemed me, <clears throat> came down and covered me in the blood of Jesus, amen, put me on high, put a new spirit upon my life and a new song upon my lips. Because of somebody like you that is sitting here tonight. Somebody that was obedient enough to follow God's instructions to place this Bible inside that jail. That one day somebody might pick it up. That one day that somebody might read it. That one day that somebody that God had appointed for that time and that day touched my life. Amen. I didn't have to go to a 12-step program, and there's nothing wrong with that. I didn't have to go and take a test. I didn't have to go and jump through hoops. I didn't have to go and do exercises. I didn't have to do nothing but call upon the name of the Lord because of a Gideon Bible. I know it says whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Because of a Gideon Bible that somebody placed there for me, I know that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Because of a Gideon Bible, I I know I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Because of a Gideon Bible. Amen. I know no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I know because of this book right here. I don't just know the name of Jesus. I know who Jesus is. I know what is impossible with men. All things is possible with God. Amen. So I thank the Lord for His redemption. I thank the Lord for His healing. I thank the Lord for the Gideon International Ministry. And I thank the Lord for Jesus Christ who redeemed me. Amen. Amen. I tell you this tonight. I tell you this tonight because your labor is not in vain. That we all know somebody tonight, whether it's a brother, a sister, a son, a daughter, a niece, a nephew, a grandchild, a mom, a dad, a neighbor, co-worker, amen. Just as Jesus told the disciples, drop your net one more time. We're going to go out in this world one more time and place that testament Place that Gideon Bible. Give that testimony one more time. Because the harvest is great and the laborers are few. And we are his hands and we are his worker. And I praise God for this time that I was able to share with you. In Jesus' name, amen.